Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. What is riba? In Islam, the term riba refers to the prohibition of usury or interest. Riba is considered haram, forbidden, in Islamic finance and is explicitly mentioned in the Quran. The prohibition of riba is based on several verses in the Quran, including Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 275. Those who consume interest cannot stand on the day of resurrection, except as one stands who is being beaten by Satan into insanity. That is because they say, trade is just like interest. But Allah has permitted trade and has forbidden interest. Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 276. Allah destroys interest and gives increase for charities. And Allah does not like every sinning disbeliever. The prohibition of riba is also supported by the sayings and practices of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Islamic scholars define riba broadly as any unjust increase in the amount of a principal loan, regardless of the form it takes. There are two main types of riba, riba al-kard, usuri in loans. This occurs when an additional amount is charged on a loan when it is repaid. Riba al buyut usuri in trade or business. This involves unjust gains in business transactions, such as charging extra for deferred payments. Islamic finance encourages ethical and fair economic practices, and the prohibition of riba is intended to promote economic justice, discourage exploitation, and ensure that wealth is circulated in a just and equitable manner. Muslims are encouraged to engage in trade and commerce that is free from exploitative practices and adhere to the principles of Islamic finance. Islamic banking and financial institutions have been established to provide financial services in accordance with Sharia principles, which include avoiding riba in all transactions.